Sponsored by McCams, getting you back on two wheels when it wasn't your fault. So you might not realise it, but putting together Bike World Television isn't a case of just grabbing a couple of iPhones and shooting as you go. Making good bike TV involves big boxes full of crap, basically. Cameras that I don't understand, drones, slide rails and stuff. We've got the Ford Transit that we use. It's been great. We can get a couple of bikes in and all the camera kit that we need. But what we've done is added another tool to the fleet. This 2020 Ducati Multistrada 1260S Grand Tour. Loads of words, loads of bike. Look at it. This is us just introducing it to you. There's no kind of review yet. I need to live with it and try and combine using it as a production tool with the popular living with reviews that I've been doing with other Ducati models, Monster 1200, Scrambler 1100. So I'm gonna live with this for the next few months. But what I wanted to do here was just have a quick walk around and introduce parts of the bike to you so that you can have a think about it. Maybe it'll formulate a couple of questions for you that you can chuck into the comment section. And yeah, just show you what this cool bike looks like on the center stand outside Box Hill Calf, by the way. It's been closed because of the lockdown. It opens on the 29th of June. So if you've been coming down here and squeezing around the gates like we have today, come after the 29th, bring a couple of quid, chuck it in their till, have a coffee, come back to Box Hill. So I've done a few of these living with pieces now. I think I probably enjoy them more because of the feedback that we get on them. Press launches are great. You know, selfishly, I get to ride a bike before any of my mates and I get to form impressions of these bikes and help other people decide whether or not to buy them. But that horrible phrase for a journal, real world, you know, real world testing, that's, that's the best way to form the best opinion possible of how a bike copes. We brought it in as a bit of a workhorse for the bike world production crew. Sometimes that includes me. So I'll be stealing it away, sticking a couple of thousand miles on it and just forming more of an opinion than one or two days gives me when I'm on a new bike press launch. So there isn't gonna be a huge amount of chatter today. I don't have all that much to say about this bike at the minute because I've only been on it for about five minutes. So. Uh, my Multistrada experience, plural, experiences over the last, how far back shall we go, 12 years, 13 years? Uh, when I first joined a magazine we were road testing the old 1000 DS motored multi that had that weird fairing that still divides opinion. Uh, that was a cool bike, great wheelie bike, cool bike. And then all of the other variants in between, 1260 Enduro in Florence, the 950, absolute banger for me. One of the best multis and one of the best Ducatis I've ridden in, well, as long as I can remember. And yeah, I need to make sure not to contradict myself because I know on that 950 launch, I got off it and said that I probably preferred that more than I did the 1260 version, which I've spent a lot of time on, which is what this one is. But I'm gonna do some different things with this compared to what we did on the launch of the 950. I'm looking forward to chasing the rest of what has been an absolutely miserable 2020 so far out the door with a few miles on this so let's start with these three massive boxes i can tell you already i don't know what the actual capacity is i can also tell you that this will hold a helmet like this one and a jacket and all your crap really really easily so not only are these popular with touring and big lifestyle changes and around the world stuff. If you just go into the shop and you realize you need to hide your helmet somewhere and your coat, you can fling it in the back of this one. Absolutely no worries. And obviously there's three of them and they're all massive. I don't know what the capacity is. I even had a look on the Ducati website. I don't know. I'm gonna say 48, 48 and 53 liters. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself into trouble on this. I can feel it already. Top boxes or no top boxes? If you're in the market for one of these, I can tell you, you don't really need to tick any of the accessory boxes because it's already full of accessories as standard. Even this seat is specific to GTS. Everything on this bike that you're looking at, apart from this Ducati branded Garmin Satnav, comes as standard on the bike. It's got the DQS which I'm already enjoying, the quick shifter. And I'll find out in a second if it was up and down. It's definitely up. And it's down as well. Yeah, the grown-up stuff. 
What's it like with the pillion on the back? How many miles of the gallon do you get? What are the tyres like after 500 miles on a motorway? Some people think that's dull. Other people absolutely crave this information because it helps inform them before they buy their bike. So if you've seen the other stuff that I've done and there's something in particular about this bike that you want to know, stick it in the comments or um, shoot me a message on Twitter or something like that and I'll do my very best to get to it. Can somebody ask me what it's like to ride this bike to North Devon to catch fish on the fly with, please, so that I can go and do that? That would be great. We'll get into all of this in other parts of this review down the line once I've lived with it and done a few more miles on it. But what I can tell you in the 16 miles that I've done on it so far is it's just as easy to navigate through this TFT screen as it always has been for Ducatis. I've evolved with them over the last 10 years as these systems have evolved. So I know straight away that if I want to go in and change any of this stuff that you can see going on here, we're in touring mode, set up for a rider with no pillion with luggage attached. If I want to change that, I'm using this one here. You simply scroll until this says menu, go into menu, enter into riding mode, and you can change. I mean, right now I'm looking at sport, touring, urban, enduro, and then obviously within those, let's leave it in sport, you can change engine characteristics, traction control levels, ABS, wheelie control, quick shifter. This has got the semi-active suspension as well. Everything in this is controlled on the left-hand binnacle. And then to get out, you just keep scrolling until it says back, back, exit, and you're back to this. There's a Bluetooth icon up here. Again, I don't know what that means yet, so I'm gonna to have to live with this thing, figure out exactly what's going on with it, wear these tires out in the sunshine, and just try and salvage something from 2020. It's been a bit of a shit one. I wanna do some miles on a bike. I'm not gonna be flying on any launches for the rest of the year, it looks like. These are my new wheels.